Which leads me to this. <laughs> Live from New York, it's the show with non-verbal cues. A lot of them. A lot of them. <laughs> A lot of them have to do with Brew blowing through Brew the commercials. Brew claims his earpiece doesn't work every day so he can ignore the producers. I hear nothing. <laughs> it's first thing Every first. day. Brew, are you more or less confident in Philly after last night? Let me start with the positives. Philly showed me a lot of heart last night. Like, I went into this game thinking, okay, Miami's the mentally tougher team mm -hmm. and Philly's the more talented team. So let's see which prevails, yep. all right? And I got to give Philly credit, you know, coming down from a 14-point or back from a 14-point deficit in the second quarter, 13-point deficit in the third quarter. I thought they that was impressive. And I think, look, with Nick Nurse, I think they're better coached than they have been in several years, really, that NBA's ever had. And I think they have more offensive depth. Like, we saw Nick Batum. I'm not expecting him to do that maybe ever again in the playoffs. No. But still, he, he stepped up last night. But if it's not, you got the two stars, obviously, with Maxi and Embiid. Tobias Oubre can have a big night Wild here. There. Yeah, so I, I like – and Nikhil Lowry's there. Yeah, yeah, so I like what I saw last night, except Joel Embiid was laboring through four quarters. Wow. I mean, he clearly what, – what was he, 70% maybe? I, I don't know. But I, I have no faith – he's not going to get healthier – during these playoffs. Like, you're playing, you know, seven games, the next seven games at playoff-level intensity against a physical team like the Knicks. It's not going to make him healthier or any better. So, Nick, so, I've got less faith ooh, because oh. of what I saw with Embiid. So, I disagree. I feel like you have to have more confidence because they avoid Boston. Because if I, they, because now they – because I you, – your point, he's not going to get healthier – I generally agree with. Mm -hmm. I said yesterday, like, if, if you suffered an MCL injury, a doctor wouldn't be like, in six weeks from now, play high-intensity right, right. basketball <laughs> to make sure it gets better. But after I said that, some people did respond that seemed, no, like, that is correct, but it is also correct. Just the passage of time from the injury, you do get slightly healthier as long as you don't re-injure it. So I generally agree with you, but I do also understand the further away you get from it, which is why it's critical they don't get Boston in round one, and they were one point away from getting Boston in round one. I also think your point about Nick Nurse is a good one, the best coach he's ever had, and I think a great coach. Yeah, by today, not historically he's great, a good but coach, amongst really good coach. today's NBA head coaches, I think he's a top five coach. And I'm biased here because he's a friend of mine, but I also think I'm honest. I think Daryl Morey's done a great job filling out the roster and getting tertiary and, you yeah, know what I mean, yeah. whatever the fourth yeah. level of tertiary is, pieces, like a Nick Batum who on a night can fill it up, he, getting Kyle Lowry for next yeah. to nothing and him becoming a key player. I, I like their supplemental pieces. And maybe I, I – 32 and 8 has to mean something. And I I don't think 30 32 and 8 is a 65 win right. pace. I don't think that is what they are, but even since Embiid's come back, they just keep winning when he plays. Yeah. He hasn't it, he hasn't looked great. And you're what well, yesterday uh, he he collapsed on a free throw. Like I, I think it was that. I think he was doing like a knee bend like go in, but then because the knee's not strong enough. Oh, I thought he was, he was joking. No, he like really collapsed. No, I, I what I thought he was doing, if you guys I should have had Hubs pull the video. Sometimes when he shoots free throws, he does like that little like almost yeah. trying to put English on it afterwards. And I think while he was doing that, he lost his balance a bit. Oh, so that's why he went down. Around. But they do I, I keep think winning. You're ignoring the elephant in the room. I mean, you're right. Oh. 32 if he were healthy. I would think they've got a really good chance to get to out go of the, to the East. finals. Now, virtually no chance to get out of the East. Okay. Here's his stats since he's come back. I mean, is remember LeVar Ball? Never lost? Yeah, he hasn't lost since he's come back. He's yeah. 6 and 0. Oh. He's only played 32 are minutes. Good. I know. Last night it wasn't good. It was the second worst of the season. But Six for 17. Maybe but he was a little excellent bit rusty, in the fourth, but right? He was nice. Yeah. I mean, it, a bad game, and he had 23 and 15 in a win against a pesky Heat team, but. And against the best defensive center in the conference. Yeah. They may – look, I don't want to take anything away from them. They showed heart and courage. Do they win if Butler's not hurt? Well, And I, I would honestly say I don't think they beat Miami in the series if Butler was there. They would have won that game. It would be a tough six, seven games. Okay. But – I said that about Zion. I got lambasted. No, oh, I, I, think, I, I think that's fair, and I agree with you that Embiid – 
Embiid at this level of health, they are, you know, the, the clock is ticking yeah. on their season. But you now do have more time. You, he now, you have more time before the first round. You have a team that we're going to get to that is not a juggernaut the way Boston was. I think, for all things considered, last night went well okay. for Philly. All right, Sixers, next game in Madison Square Garden. Saturday night, the Knicks favored in this one. Won the season series 3-1, but the teams are 1-1 one one when Embiid plays. So, Nick, who you got here? With great trepidation, I take Philly. Okay. I... New York is an awesome story, and more than an awesome story, they're a really good team. Mm -hmm. And Jalen Brunson is a su – like, club superstar gets unveiled midway through these playoffs. I didn't even know that. Jalen – well, it does every year. I mean, you don't have it. Come I don't on, have buddy. A wow. The, I didn't know when it was. J I, Jalen? Jalen Brunson she has – of every Olympic player team, in the league that was outside club superstar before this year – no one made a stronger case yeah. that they should replace someone in club superstar. Ja's Again, out. that doesn't guarantee Ja's out. that well, ja got, Do I have a morals clause? You know, ja, yeah, the pat down <laughs> thing. It's all thing. It's hard <laughs> for him. Right. Um, ja was in, and no, but Ja was already out. But so we can do club superstar later, as we always do in the you know around the middle of May. But Jalen has made a strong case. The Knicks' record when OG plays and Jalen yeah. plays yeah. is gaudy. Here is my concern, and this is, I guess, damning with faint praise. Tibbs gets so much out of his guys all year long that I don't remember a Tibbs team that had a playoff gear. I remember a lot of Tibbs teams that got to playoff level intensity oh. by, like, game six, and be, his brilliance is keeping them there. Right. And then teams that they looked better than during the regular season who were kind of coasting, they see them in the playoffs, they get to a playoff gear, and they beat them. That, plus the Knicks injuries, plus the fact that I don't think the Knicks have a great answer for Embiid with respect to Hartenstein and respect to their front line, nobody has a great answer to Embiid. All take Philly in a hard-fought long series. I'm going to say something I haven't said since Sprewell and Houston were in the oh, here we go. hallways of Madison Square Garden. Give me the Knicks! <laughs> I got the Knicks in seven. Oh, seven? Wow. Seven. That'll be great. If they, We got to go to that game seven if yes, that happens. But go ahead. Let's go. Seven. Go ahead. And it's be – look, if MB were healthy, I'd be going with Philly. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt. But I just think he looked – he just didn't look good. It's not, and you're right. At times he played well. And I think he's going to get his 20 something points, but he's, I don't think he's going to be the dominant Joel Embiid that we saw in the beginning of the year. I also think with Isaiah Hardenstein and Mitchell Robinson, they, two seven footers who yeah. are athletic, you know, yep. they can get out on the perimeter or something. Mm -hmm. They're not going to stop him, but they can make it tough. And you, they can you contest 12 him fouls out. for him. Yeah, they can contest yep. him and all of that. Yep. Jay, look, what they – you mentioned Tibbs' team, and I, I totally agree with you on that. This is – what is this? This is the Chicago Bulls with Derrick Rose, Tip, coached by Tibbs. Yes, sir. That's exactly what they're – you're right. Villanova. They couldn't beat the Heat yeah. with LeBron and D-Wade and Bosh, but they still won their share of games. And I'm not yeah. saying the Knicks are that good. That team won 60-something games. But still, that's the formula. No, that's right. And, we, and you mentioned it with OG Anunobi. They're 20 and 3. Now, they played, I, I don't make too much out of the regular season matchups, mm -hmm. but they did go 3 and 1 against Philly. Obviously, Embiid only played one of those yeah. games. But when he played, they were, Philly was at their height. They had won 11 of their last mm -hmm. 16. Yeah. MB was playing like the best player in the world. Yeah. And they, got and they beat him by 36. No, they got the beat him by 36. Yeah. 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 So, I just think that because of Embiid, I think that the Knicks are going – and I don't mind missing Julius Randle. Julius well, Randle's not been a playoff performer. He's been a detriment in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Here, regular season, he's a 47% shooter. Oh, he's playoffs, 34%. All right, so that, that's I was at the dip. Knicks game that – I don't remember if it was the Caesar – it was the final Knicks home game last year that they lost. I was there. I can't remember if it ended the series or in round two or if it was they lost on the road. I just – the reason I vividly remember it is you're walking out of MSG and people in Knicks jerseys are cursing Julius oh, yeah, Rant. Like yeah. they was – he it was – for the second straight year, he was, from an efficiency basis, 
arguably the worst player in the playoffs. You know what I mean? And so, certainly on the eastern side of the bracket, let me throw one other thing at you. Mm. I do wonder, can Tyrese Maxey in this series give you 70% of Jalen Brunson's production? Because if he gets, yeah, yeah. If, if, well, then, then, then I think the Sixers win. Because I think if he I mean, can, that would it, only it, be well, he's going to get twenty a game. There, you, there you go. Think? If Jalen gets thirty and Maxi gets twenty, the Sixers win. Because there isn't then there isn't someone on the Knicks yeah. to give you. And I understand that's too simplistic, but it was just very okay. basic level. There's no one on the Knicks to give you seventy percent of what I think Embiid's going to do, even a hampered Embiid. You know what I mean? Either, and so because of I, that, he, he may end up uh, missing. A, I don't want to see it, but he may miss a game. Like uh, it's just he the, played five regular season games. The, and now he, you know, since he got back yep. and he's already well, backed I, up. Well, like, I wonder how much of that was maintenance. But I'm, but he it, did have the legitimate injury. Yes, came he did back got from. hurt and came and, back. And the Knicks are physical. No, Last that's year they true. were too physical for Cleveland. So this is going to be a physical series for Philadelphia. And no. we'll see how Embiid gets through it. If you're right, Brew, Embiid's out in the first round. Is there a legacy talk for Embiid? Is there changes happening to Philadelphia? Is he going to get frustrated, or is it just like, ah, eh, another year, another weird injury? No, that's the. It's not his ability; it's his availability. I mean, that it's just every. Another. I think the, now maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a mental block. I don't know, but I think his dip in production in the playoffs is completely due to his not being at 100%. I agree. And if there was a year you were going to be at 100%, it would be now. You're off for two months. Had, I get it. It was rehab. But still, he's already banged and up I, and back why, to that guy labor. Go. Is, there a, is there a legacy on Grant Hill? No, I mean, the, that's a legacy. Is the hurt, legacy but is actually injured. like, wow. Like, I was good. like, yeah. Like, what? You, I don't think people look at him negatively. I don't think people look at as the player Ralph Sampson negatively. Maybe they say he should have well, changed he, his game. Well, he, he really the, got, like, the, career. No, I understand. Career, the, injured, but injured. the guys who, we when at their best, so those maybe aren't the perfect examples. The point I'm making, guys who, when at their best, like, that guy is amazing, who then consistently dealt with injuries, I feel like get put over to the side when it comes to, oh, they can't win conversations. So. It's, it's like their body yeah. betrayed them conversations. It's just going to hinder his legacy in that. I mean, this guy, if he were healthy, he'd be one of the absolute all-time great centers. Early, yes. early, early case, bud man. list, maybe after he won the MVP, you put him on the bud list, I think. Yeah. And it was like, hey, it's, you, we have to see some hardware now. Yeah. Now that you have the MVP and otherwise we're like, I ah, still think now we're like, ah, first round exit maybe. Well, there's no only... No, nah, I still he might be on the butt list today. Oh, There's only Steve Nash. I'm doing this off the top of my head, it's dangerous. Steve Nash and Derrick Rose are the only MVPs ever to not make a finals. Joe except for Joel Embiid, who has not made a conference right. finals. So like that part, you don't want to be on those Is lists. Is he the only one never He's to the make the a only conference? One. The only the, there was because going into last year, the only MVPs to never make a finals were Embiid, Jokic, mm -hmm. Nash, and Rose. Rose were like, okay, you know, injuries. Nash were like, uh, you know, he got close a couple times, got a little unlucky, also kind of weird MVPs. Jokic then won the title, and Embiid's now sitting there still with a round two ceiling. So, yeah, that part's fair, but we also see that he's hurt all the time. But, but And that's a part yeah. of the legacy. You're hurt all the time. Yeah. All right, playoff Jimmy. Probably done. Left Philadelphia limping. Now, his agent is saying he's headed to the doctor today, and he disputed this MCL report. Uh, next game is Friday, yeah. And the winner of Bulls Heat will head to Boston for round one. What does this mean for the Celtics? Now? Well, let me say, so the agent, Jimmy Butler's agent, saying there's a chance? Well, this morning, he just didn't like the reporting. I'm just saying. He didn't like the wait. diagnosis from afar before he went to the doctor, was my read on it. He just played three quarters of basketball, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Yeah. On, an MC, on that MCL. And Jimmy Butler, last year he was playing through a knee mm -hmm. soreness, injury, whatever it was. That was his ankle, but regardless, yeah, he, he hurt he, himself he, he, in yes. the Knicks series. Like, if yeah. there's a guy that <laughs> might play through this, it would be Jimmy I Butler. I don't know if he's going to. I think yeah. I, I'm not. I did, like I, I'm just saying, if you, if you, whatever that agent said, I didn't see that. But assuming he's out, obviously it's an easy road for the Celtics to the finals. Because not only is Jimmy Butler, I don't even think Miami gets past Chicago without Jimmy Butler. Chicago's been playing pretty decent basketball. Um, if they do, 
they're still going out, obviously, to Boston if they don't have Jimmy Butler, okay? Then Boston is – who who in the second round, they will have uh, Orlando or Cleveland. They should win that. That's not that tough. And then you get maybe a banged-up Philly or Milwaukee or an overmatched Knicks team. Now, that said, Nick, last year it was Atlanta, mm-hmm. Philly with MB banged up and actually missing one of the games, and then Miami that had been an AC. Yeah, but last year's Boston team was not this year's Boston team. They weren't the one seed. But, they but, it, but it was the, it, it, the core. I get that they got poor Zing. Here's what I'm saying is last year it was simple, and they didn't even get there. All right? Yeah. If they don't get to the finals. Okay. I think Joe Mazzula has to be gone. Something has to happen. This would be the second year, and I, I think this would be the second year where it looked like you should have got there, especially when Milwaukee are, got beat. Right right now, Milwaukee's the second favorite. You bet $100 on Milwaukee to make the finals, you make $800. You bet $100 on to Boston. To make the finals. To make the finals. You bet $100 on Boston to make the finals, you win 40 bucks. They are a minus 225 favorite against the field to make the finals. There is... The, the, I totally agree with what you're saying, Brew. I'm just trying to add to it. They, and I, if it's not, it would either be fire the coach or trade Jalen Brown or do something drastic. You can't, it would be the historical precedent of a team with this regular season resume, mm-hmm. even if you had a gauntlet in front of you not making the finals, is non existent. This regular season well, there resume. Was a, there, been a, there was the, a 60 win team. Was it Denver? The, or no, Seattle. They lost to Denver with Matumbo. Oh, yeah. The, is, yeah. Correct. So, the, in the best of five and in round Dallas one. Dallas with Dirk, 8-1. Mm-hmm. Right, but not, so not all of these boxes that I'm about to show you, they checked off. So, you've been pointing out point differential mm-hmm. all year. We can show you that every single one of those teams with a point differential like Boston won the title. What about win your conference by 10-plus games? It's been done 14 times. I don't have a graphic for this. You're going to have to hear me on it. 10 of the 14 won the championship, and the ones that didn't brew, three of them ran into, like it was the 06 Pistons who ran into Shaq and D. Wade, or the 73 Celtics who ran into the Knicks, or the 86 Lakers, it was Samson and Olajuwon. At least you had, okay, right. Hall of Famers yep. beat us in that situation. They have three 20-point scorers in their starting lineup. All of NBA history, the, te- the number one seeds that have had that, the St. Louis Hawks with Bob Pettit, West Wilton Elgin, and twice the KD Steph Clay Warriors. That's it. This team has it. For, the, for this team to not make the finals when Giannis is dealing with a calf, Embiid's limping yeah. around, and Jimmy Butler is out weeks would be a historic choke job. Especially, and I get it, it's a little different because they have Porzingis. They've made the finals. Yeah. yeah. With the, this core has made the finals, and what I would say is, you know what? We need a tough, hard-nosed coach like Ime Udoka was, and he <laughs> did a good job in Houston this year. Whatever happened? And I think Missoula's a, a, a finesse coach. A finesse coach. This game out here is blocking finesse. shots. Their uh, game is finesse. Hold on. hold on. Can I ask you a question? I need a real little. Quick, to be fair. Hold on. They shoot a lot of threes. Bro, wait a second. Wait. Well, hold on. They Let don't me. get to the line. They hold shoot on. a ton of threes. Right, but right, but but right now, I'm not a Missoula fan. But right now, we have to say what he's done is working. I, look, you're I, just look, saying right. if they were to lose, if they you lose. Were I like okay. Missoula. Okay, I'm go. just saying if they lose, okay. it, like you, it's a yellow brick road it to is. the finals. Okay. That you agree with that, right? And last yeah, year, they should it, get to the finals. I'm last year was Missoula. a yellow brick road after uh, Giannis was hurt and they got eliminated. It was. No, yeah, it I mean, should have been. I like, Hold on. I like Missoula. Yeah, I'm not like firing you too. Missoula if you get to the Eastern really? Conference Finals and something weird. Wait, happens. if you get to the Eastern, you're, hold on. This will be two what straight years. What change are you making? I don't know. I'm not firing Missoula. I like Missoula. I like him. They were a great team when he took over. Uh, yeah. They would have gone. And backwards. now they're better. How? They got to the finals without him. Yeah, I mean, the, again, again, we are. This is I'm not want to be clear him. to the audience because it's if you just well, now, we're, in, now we're all the way to the it's, right Celtics well, in the look, finals. I, I got him in the finals, so I don't think he's going to get fired. Uh, so or do I. I think he Her, should, but if they get beat, the, right? The, the the context of the conversation is if they don't make the finals, there is no excuse. Is I guess no. the point. Right. The, 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 one of the reasons basketball is, to me, such a unique and beautiful sport is because no matter how great a team is, if you run into a true legend. If you run into the, Giannis and but, Dame and Dame wins a game, no, with, hold goes on. crazy. Wait, Wait, a a second. Second. Let's see if Giannis is 100%. 
Yeah, you know, there's yes, a little, of course. Uh, nuance. But, I'm, but right now, that. Giannis is not playing. Right. right now, we're worried about Giannis's Achilles tendon. So that's so so <laughs> that's the point I was kind of trying getting ready to make is I, in basketball, I typically don't think chokes are fair. If it's the answer is you didn't choke, a legendary player beat you. My point is the East has three legendary or legendary adjacent guys in it, and they're all hurt. Right. So if that's the case, and you're the one seed. And the bracket fell perfectly. You got to make the finals. They should make the finals. Yeah. They should. They should. I'm not even saying they have to win it, but they need to exactly. make it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.